Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And we're here at Jacksonville Pagan Pride at the Garden Club in Jacksonville, Florida. We're going to have some lovely interviews and some delightful footage. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Hi, my name is Reverend Diallo J. Mudd, also known as Lord Moon Raven Humitas, and I represent EOCTO, Celestial Order Temple of Columbus, or the Greek, Roman, and Egyptian witchcraft tradition. And um, we're here at Pagan Pride Day. Yes. And are you having a good time so far? Oh, yes, very much. It's very hot, but it is... We have a wonderful, we have a wonderful community, and I can't wait to get started. Our tradition is a little Wiccan, a little high magic. It's personal. People people come here to get problems that they worked out and to find out who they really are. Be it, and they usually go into, into a lot of their cultural traditions also. I'm the secretary for the Northeast Florida Pagan Leadership Coalition, and that's been a wonderful trek. We have finished our bylaws, which was nine grueling months. The coalition is about bringing some positivity and leadership to our community to provide support for people who are solitary or just looking for a group to join, to looking for some support for some things. And if someone were to ask about the Jacksonville community, what would you, what would you tell them? I would say we've had some struggles, but we actually have a very diverse community. Community. There's a lot from gay, straight, black, white, to whomever. The numbers of traditions actually are starting to increase, and I would hope that somebody actually comes to give us a shot. Wonderful. And if someone wanted to learn more about you and, and your organizations, where would they go? We are at Olympic House of Venus Hathor on Facebook. You can reach us at ohvhathor at gmail.com. And text message me or Facebook me anytime. I'm Moon Raven Human Test. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Paul McWhorter of Paul M Studio. And we're here at Jacksonville Pagan Pride. And are you having a good time? Yes, I am. Uh, what, what do you like best about this event? Um, the variety of... Um, well, I'm an artist, so I love the art. And just the different, all the different things, that, the, the different mediums that people do. You've got the people working the stones and the, the costumes and things like that. And it's just great, the, all the variety. What, I, what I've been doing is uh, mostly making uh, figurines of baby dragons. And a lot of these are actually made of concrete. Oh, wow. And, yeah, I, I, I make a sculpture, make a latex mold a sculpture, and cast them in concrete. And uh, with the, the variety of the coloration, I can do custom colors. Um, and uh, what's popular are these uh, little skeletal ones that uh, they glow in the dark. Kids love them. I recently got hold of a 3D printer and I'm trying to do uh, versions of uh, my sculptures in those in different sizes and shapes. And I've recently started growing bismuth crystals as well. And that, that's an interesting learning experience. Uh, bismuth comes in uh, all these nice colors. It's beautiful. Well, people are really fascinated by the glow in the dark stuff. Um, uh, today, a lot of people are liking the, my uh, Peter Goddesses, and uh, spe especially since it's a big event. Um, but yeah, it, each year people are interested in different things, so it's just uh, interesting just trying to keep up with what people like. Um, you can find me on Facebook, that's my website basically. It's uh, Paul M. Studio on Facebook, and uh, I'm, or look up Paul McWhorter. Um, see the stuff I'm doing and get updates of uh, what shows I'll be doing. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello, my name is Yvonne. I'm the volunteer coordinator for Pagan Pride. I'm helping out Melody. And it's my first year doing this, and I'm actually very excited to hopefully be a co-coordinator for her. Wonderful. So you're enjoying it? Yes, I am. This is my first year being here in general, so I'm excited oh. that we have something like this in the community. How, how are you finding it so far? Um, it's been a little bit stressful planning it, but now that I've seen it come together, it is great. It's a lot of work to put it on, I imagine. Yes, it is. It took several months and a few sleepless nights, but it was worth it. <laughs> if, uh, if someone were to ask about this event, how would you describe it to them? Um, it is a community event that is here to educate the public about what it is to be pagan, who we are, and just to show people we can be just as charitable and kind as any other organized religion. Wonderful. And if, uh, if people wanted more information about the event, where would you send them? 
I would send them to our Facebook page, which, are, which is the Jacksonville Pagan Pride Association, and also we do have a website, which is the jackspaganpridealliance.org. Wonderful. So next year you're, you're planning to do still more. Mm -hmm. So obviously you've enjoyed the experience. What's been your favorite part? My favorite part is getting to know everybody that I'll be working with and just getting to know the different paths that everyone goes down and still are trying to discover themselves. So it's basically the whole discovery and learning process that I'm enjoying. How many different groups would you say are here? Um, I so far have seen about I would say even 10, maybe 15-ish different groups, because there are the main groups and then there are the offshoots of them. So I mean, it always it depends on if you're Corellian, Druidic, it depends, and then you go from there. There are even solitary, so there's plenty of other paths that we don't even know about. Wonderful. But thank you very much. Yes, you're so welcome, Lordon. And you have a lovely, lovely day. Too, thank you. I'm Dustin Goodall, also known as Ashra. I am one of the Keepers of Sanctuary, the Minister for Sanctuary, and the President for the Northeast Florida Pagan Leadership Coalition. And where are we and why are we here? We're at Jacksonville's Pagan Pride Day. We are here to basically talk to the community about our belief systems. And how would you say the day is going? Absolutely excellent. I believe we're up to three or four hundred people so far. And um, it, it's a good crowd both of um, exhibitors and, and of people attending. Absolutely. Would you like to talk a little bit about the entertainment? Well, we have several different, uh, we actually have two different workshop stations, so uh, we also have, we have belly dancers this morning, we have different performers, we have a DJ, and we have 42 different vendors out here today, so. That's pretty impressive. Absolutely. How long have you been involved in Pagan Pride? This is my sixth year, I think. How, how would you say that uh, the event here in Jacksonville has changed during that time? Ooh, we started off in a small park and now we've moved up to the Garden Club and we have literally grown every year. More and more vendors, more and more people are coming out. It has grown exponentially. And in case our viewers are wondering why we're outside, it's because we, there are so many people we cannot hear the interview inside. Absolutely. <laughs> um, you did the opening ritual today. Yes, with, the with Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. um, would you like to talk a little bit about Sanctuary? Sanctuary Realms of Spiritual Growth is an open group. We do different things throughout the weeks. Uh, we have discussion groups, we do rituals. Um, all three of our keepers are different traditions, so we have a very eclectic group. So we're always open to the community. We are a sanctuary. And could you tell us a little bit about the Northeast Florida Pagan Leadership Coalition? Nifflepleg is our short term for it, and we are a collection of all the different leaders in the local area as well as clergy coming together to work to improve our community. If people would like to learn more about Pagan Pride, where would you send them? Uh, jackspagan.org is the best place to look up Pagan Pride Day information. And if people would like to learn more about Sanctuary, where would you send them? Uh, take a look on our Facebook page, Sanctuary Realms of Spiritual Growth. We put all our events up. And if people would like to learn more about Nephilplik, where would they go? Once again, go to Facebook and take a look for uh, Northeast Florida Pagan Leadership Coalition. We have all our different things that we do up there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, I am Melanie Crump, and I am the event coordinator for Jacksonville Pagan Pride Day. Uh, we have a wonderful event going on this year. We have over 40 vendors that have shown up to them. It's been amazing. The energy has been very open and inviting for people to come in. We have amazing music playing. Um, it's just truly been an amazing event <laughs> this year. This is literally an all-year volunteer uh, project. Um, I am trying to get another event coordinator on board with me this coming year, so that would be very exciting. Um, but typically it's me. Uh, I've been doing Jacksonville Peg and Pride for the last five years as the event coordinator. Um, it was basically by um, accident almost. Um, I first moved to Florida about six years ago. And I was just looking around trying to find some friends because I was new to the area and I uh, met a pagan cub in the area that happened to have Pagan Pride Day drop in their lap that year. And so I helped volunteering and then the next year they said, well, you did such an awesome job. Why don't you want to help coordinate it? And then I became the coordinator. <laughs> it just kind of happened that way. The Jacksonville Pagan community is extremely open and eclectic. We have multiple different traditions in the area. We have the Corellian nativists. Uh, we also have Hellenistic Alexandrians. 
We have several different types of Wiccan groups out here that are covens and they are um, open groups and we have eclectic groups as well. What do you find most challenging about doing Pagan Pride? Um, the planning. <laughs> the planning of Jacksonville Pagan Pride is definitely the most challenging. It's, you know, as event coordinators, you understand that you work all year long trying to get vendors and organize food and your workshops and reach out and get the advertising. You do all that, but all of that accumulates to that one day. And you don't know until that one day happens if all that work that you put together is going to come together. So the planning is kind of the more stressful part and difficult part of it. But once the event comes, you go, it's here, it's amazing, everybody's having a great time, and you're glad that all that work you put in came out and it worked. The um, Garden Club of Jacksonville is a beautiful uh, venue. They have a large ballroom. They also have a courtyard in the back with a fountain area. Um, they're available for rent. They are actually a nonprofit organization, and they host the um, the Jacksonville um, Herb Societies and the Garden Club Society. Basically, they go around Jacksonville and they plant in urban areas and otherwise to help beautify the Jacksonville area. They do projects with the Garden Club, the Cumber Museum, the Jacksonville Zoo. They've got projects just all over and they keep coming up with new projects to just help bring a little greenery to our Jacksonville area. My own group is Sanctuary Realms of Spiritual Growth. Um, I run it with uh, Dustin Goodall and Mark Stein. We are all called ourselves keepers of Sanctuary. And the concept is we are a eclectic open group. Um, we have people from traditions of working with the Green Man, um, to working with Egyptian, to working with Hellenistic. Uh, we also have some people that work with the Celtic um, tradition. So uh, basically anybody that wants to come and share their experience and knowledge and learn and grow together. We do spiritual discussions. Uh, we do all rituals throughout the year and every ritual has a different tradition that it's based on. So we'll do Egyptian style one time and the next time we'll do the uh, Hellenistic uh, tradition and another time we'll do just basic open or a Wicca. We change it up so that people that come to our group can see different forms of doing ritual. And if people would like to learn more about Jacksonville Pagan Pride, where would you send them? Oh. Um, we do have an official website. It's www.jackspagan.org. Um, we also have a Facebook page and a Facebook group. And if people would like to learn more about Sanctuary, where would you send them? Oh. Um, Sanctuary is on uh, Facebook as well. It's just Sanctuary Wellness is Built for Growth as a page and a group. And then we do have a page. If One of the wonderful things about the jackspagan.org is if you go on it in the community area and scroll down, it'll have a listing of all the local pagan groups and covens, and we have a page in there. So if people want to learn more information about us or any of the other covens or groups in the Jacksonville and surrounding areas, they can go there. Um, and then for the Pagan Pride Project, we are just one of many events. They have 98 events across the world. Um, we are within 46 states. And we're also in several countries besides the U.S. They also have events in Canada, Mexico, Brazil, Chile, uh, Colombia, um, the Domin Dominican Republic, Peru, Germany, and Italy. So this is not just an event that comes into Jacksonville. The Peg Pride Project is worldwide, which is amazing. And um, every year, uh, they just put on events that are for the community that are free for people to come in. So we have workshops so that people can learn about paganism. And uh, we also have the lovely vendors to come in and help support all the local vendors. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed Magic TV's coverage of Jacksonville Pagan Pride. And until next time, may you blessed be.